Mark is away today. He's kindly filmed something for us from his own home, so we wouldn't go without. Good morning, guys. Yes, that's right. I'm not in the kitchen today. Well, not in the Beko kitchen. I am in my own kitchen at home, and I am making pizzas. Look at these. I've got three different pizzas what I'm going to do for you today. I'm going to show you how to make the dough, different toppings, classic margarita here. We've got something a little bit different, um, parmesan instead of a tomato sauce with some uh, prosciutto and pear and rocket, and a great old salami pizza. They're really simple to do. I'm gonna walk you through it, and we're gonna cook them on the pizza oven outside. It's gonna be great. We are making pizzas today. I'm at home in my kitchen. I've got the pizza oven outside. It's all getting nice and warm. So what makes a good pizza? Well, simplicity. I think is one of the key things, you know, don't try and load it up with 20 ingredients, just keep it nice and simple and use the best ingredients you can get hold of. So I've got a nice selection of ingredients here. We've got a beautiful salami from Italy, uh, some nice cured parma ham. We've got uh, mozzarella, you know, you can't go past mozzarella. I've also got parmesan cheese, uh, some rockets, some pear. You know, we're gonna make a few different flavors and mix it up a little bit. We've got a nice tomato base, but you don't always have to use a tomato base. And what is the second most important thing? The dough, okay? So I'm gonna, I've got a recipe for you for the dough. I'm gonna talk you through it and I've actually made it ahead of time. Ta -da! This is our dough, okay? So a nice simple white dough, but we are using double O flour, okay? So this is readily available in supermarkets now. You know, it's well worth going out and picking out and finding it because it will make a world of difference. It's really finely milled. It's the same flour what you use for pasta. Right, it's got yeast in as well, so we've got this yeast, which you also can get from supermarket, so this is just dried yeast, you know, get a recipe off the internet or get my recipe, uh, follow the instructions, but you will need a lot of time because we need to put the yeast in, we need to activate it, we need to make the dough, we need to prove it, knock it back, and for best results, make it the day before, pop it in the fridge overnight so it's just got that real slow prove, and then you can bring it up to temperature and then you're ready to go, you know, so there's a top tip for you guys. Right, here's the dough. So this has been proving overnight, and it's just come out, it's been out um, of, the of the fridge for about an hour, so it's just slowly come up. You know, it's nice and white, it's spongy, it's stretchy, you know, it's soft, but it's not sticky, there's the key. And all we're gonna do is just sort of stretch it in a minute. But how do you get it from here to your pizza oven? You need a pizza paddle. That's what this is, and we're gonna build it on the pizza paddle and then we can just transport it outside and throw it straight in the pizza oven. And how do you do that? What is the secret ingredient? Semolina. We're gonna put a little layer of semolina onto the paddle, build your pizza on, and it just slides right off to the exact point where you want it in the pizza oven. It's gonna be great. Right, I'm gonna start rolling out this dough and make some pizzas. Right, we're ready to do our dough. So let it prove in one big piece and then cut it down to suit the size of your paddle. Right, so this size here is probably a good size to do for your paddle. You know, you've got this area on here and you can just roll it out. So I'm just gonna start rolling it and pushing with my fingers, okay? And you just slowly walk in the, work in the dough in a circle, getting it thinner and thinner and thinner. Alternatively, you can use a rolling pin if you want. You know, just a little bit of pressure, keep turning it so you get a nice sort of round shape. Or you can have a little bit of fun. Right, a little bit of flour on your hands, give it a good clap. So you haven't got excess flour, pop it in, and you know, it's quite soft and stretchy, but you know, I've seen this in the Italian restaurants and I thought, why not give it a go, okay? So this could be great or it could be a complete disaster. So we're just gonna throw it up and we're gonna use gravity to spin it. Look at that, it's quite easy. Professional. <laughs> anyway, we'll stop there. So once you've got it nice and thin, you know, I'm just going to check the size again. So actually, I'll go a little bit more. So I'm just going to keep spinning it on the side. Do one more, and then we'll pop it on our paddle. And then what we need to do is sort of reshape it a bit. I'm looking for a nice thin base of the pizza here. And then I want to actually almost have it double in size on the edges, because I want those edges to just come up and puff up around the pizza, okay? but I want that heat um, of the pizza oven and the stone to set the base of it, okay? So we need to set that base really, really fast um, so all the toppings don't seep through and it sticks to everything, okay? So that's a rough size. Take it off, a little bit of semolina, 
straight onto your paddle and then pop your dough in. Just reshape it and just push those edges out so you get those a little bit thicker and it's nice and thin and even in the center. Right, it's time to build our pizza. So this is one of my favorites, a salami pizza. All right, a little bit of tomato sauce. So you can make this yourself um, or even just get a can of tomatoes and just sort of drain it off a little bit if you want, a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a little bit on the base. You don't want to make it too wet. If you make it too wet, it goes soggy. It's all going to be a disaster. So that's plenty. Mozzarella. This is beautiful stuff. So just get this just in a bit of a brine, just drain it off and just do some nice thin slices, you know, and that's heaps. And then some salami, but it's entirely up to you. You can put anything you want on here. Here's a little secret for you. Some really good olive oil. Just going to drizzle that over the top. And I just want to make sure we just rub a little bit on the edge of this pizza. Okay, so the crust, so you've got a little bit of oil on that dough. And then what's that, what that's going to do, it's going to give us a really good colour when we get it in the hot pizza oven. And there you go, simple as that. Let's go and throw it in the oven and see how long it takes. Right, so the oven's really hot. We've got the fire over there. I've checked the tiles. We did a little test before so we know where the hottest part of the oven is. So I'm going to start the pizza off over into that sort of backside corner get the pizza set and then I'm going to move it towards the flame and get some of that char on it. And see the semolina here? This is why we put semolina on because we can shake it and the dough's going to come off. So this is the motion what you want to do. Pop it in, see where you want it and then just pull it back. Get it in there. The heat's going to set the crust so just give it a sort of 30, 30 seconds to a minute before the, for the base to set and then you can start moving your pizza around. The base is set, I'm just going to give it a little flip around and I'm going to bring it towards the flames. Nice, you, know, so you can sort of you can sort of spin it around. Now let's get it, let's get it towards those flames, get a bit of colour on the pizza. Pretty much the pizza's cooked, we know the base is set because we can move it. You know the outside of the crust is just coming up, just want a little bit of colour now and that is ready to go. You know it is so fast once you've got hot oven. Ooh. So exciting. Ugh. Mike and Mel, can you taste it? Can you taste it? No. <laughs> As we said before, you know, pizzas are really personal. You can put any ingredients you want on there. So here's another variation, and this is a, another favorite of mine. I really love pizzas. Something a little bit different. Like we're not going to put any tomato sauce on there. Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to grate it straight on, okay? Get a nice base of Parmesan cheese, and we're going to build all the flavors up on top of this. Okay, so this is what's known as a white pizza. All right, some prosciutto, and this is great. You know, when this warms up, it's really nice. It goes a little bit crispy on the edges, but it is very salty as well. So you just gotta be careful with this pizza. We've got salty Parmesan, salty prosciutto. So I'm not gonna season it with any more salt. I'm gonna do a little, little bit of Parmesan on there. A little bit of red onion, okay. Just some nice slices. Scatter that over, and that's it. I'm going to cook it like that, and then I'm going to add a few little ingredients to it after when it comes out. But you don't want to be putting those ingredients on now, and I'll show you. I'll show you why a little bit later. Look at that! See, this is what we're looking for. We want these little black specks. Look at that margarita pizza. Look at the dough. Look at the cheese. Look at the sauce bubbling. Yummy! It's going to take a little bit more cooking, but. Oh, I've got no coffee. Jesse, I need another latte. Thank you, mate. <laughs> I tell you what, we will swap you a coffee for one of those pizzas, Mark. He's got all the gears at his home. If you ever get an invite, go. Went to his birthday once, full of chefs that provided plates. It was a brilliant feast. We'll see how that pizza turned out towards the end of the show. Oh, look at these. The pizzas are ready, steaming hot, full of flavour. Three different types, and now we can finish them. Right, the parma ham, the onion, the parmesan cheese. That just gets a little bit of uh, rocket leaves on top and a little bit of pear as well. Brings it a little bit of sweetness, um, a little crunch on that. So just slice it up, scatter it over. Look at that, it's a meal in itself. Margarita pizza, what do we need? Fresh basil, so just tear it off. Oh, the beautiful aroma of this basil goes on the pizza. Salami pizza, it's all ready to go. All you've got to do, chop it up. You know, and then you can get stuck in and eat it. 
I wish you guys could be here and eat this, but you're not, so I'm just gonna have to eat everything. Bye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bye. Very jealous you didn't get an invite to that <laughs> filming, Mel, isn't it, eh? Yeah. But Mark will be back tomorrow. Good work, Mark.